signal You that is the Rukami Oh, when you come back, back on my sh- Hello, welcome to Russo. You already know this is the segment Afrobeat Me Russo, and this is episode two. I have a young brother with me, a family. There's so many titles to his name, but I'll let him introduce himself. As you all know, this is Afrobeat Me Russo or Russo Meet Afrobeat. So, on to my brother, and it goes by the name No Pain. You can tell from his fashion too, no pain. So I will <laughs> talk to you and <laughs> onto him. All right, my brother, let them know as they go. What's up, my people? I go by the name No Pain. More or less, let's say go. <laughs> tell them, tell them about what's going on, bro. Tell them so, about you, your music, when you started, all those stuff. I started music on. Um, Four years ago, you get me? Four years ago? Yeah, I started music four years ago. Wow. That was a long time. I used to dance down. I used to be a dancer. I used to be a dancer. Yeah, for real. I used to be a dancer in high school. Everybody liked me dancing. Why not just switch it up? The song you do is Afrobeat. You're from Nigeria. It's from Nigeria, but it's not from Lagos, Nigeria. I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. But it's from where my father is actually from, which is Kwara Ilori. Kwara Ilori. It's from Kwara Ilori, and that's, you know, how the bond started. So, yes. just talk to the people, let them know, like, how, how was your experience in, when you were in Ilori and Kwara, and how it affects your music career, and how we make, like, how the love for music started. The love for music started um, four years ago when I started music. Okay. But the only way the learning stuff and all this kind of stuff affects my music career is the thing I don't be true for that place, man. No be <laughs> for far away. No be small. No be small place. So it's not really up. Yeah, that's how my uh, young wood affects my music career. So because I don't want to go back to my past life, man. Struggle. Struggle. I just want to be different. I just want to... Yeah. 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 Okay. That was about that. We've talked about you. Let's talk about shoes. So, I know you have a lot of designer shoes. You have a lot of, you know, normal sneaker shoes and stuff like that. But what's your favorite shoe right now? Like a brand. Mm. Let's talk like Reebok, Nike, Puma. You know, what's your favorite shoe that you love to wear at any time? Like, yeah, See, if someone give you 200 pairs of this shoe, could they swear, you know, if you tie up, you go just the rock and they go, which shoe? Oh, you hold on, if there's any give me for free, for like 400 for free, 400 pairs for free, yeah, man. say, don't wear no that shoe, this is the only shoe you can wear till you die. I'll take it for someone, <laughs> wow. but it's a different color, like the, the, um, Travis Scott, Supreme, mm-hmm. if they can mix that, if they can mix it like that, bro, now nah, I'm good for life. Okay, so literally you said Nike. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's about that. Let's go back to music. Like, I watch your YouTube, you're doing numbers, bro. I don't even lie. For an African artist to be out here in America, because let's keep it real. People right. don't care about you as an Afrobeat in yeah. America. That's what people don't know. I had Amit, a very talented brother. Shout out to Amit, bro. This brother, boy beyond, is on it. I know you you met him before. Yeah, yeah, not me, not me. Yeah, so let's talk about that. Like Afrobeat in America, like you are in. I don't know if there's any industry that exists here in America as an Afrobeat. Like, let's just say you're part of that industry. Mm-hmm. Like, what can you talk about the industry out here for Afrobeat in America in general? See, making music in America as an Afrobeat as an Afrobeat is kind of difficult. Mm. Why? Like, for the first, let's talk about the producer. 
the engineer will go record you. Mm -hmm. That one. You know one thing I hate, bro? I don't like that stuff at all. When I call someone, I want to record. And they tell me two hours per 150. 150 per two hours. Bro, that should kill my mood. And that's even for recording. You're not yeah. talking about promoting and all the stuff yet. That's even what. Bro, if you're talking about recording, you they spend a lot of money. You be really maybe they spend money. Hmm. Because you pay for an hour. And I don't like if I want to record from you, bro. Let me record and after that we can talk about the money. Hmm. Because if they say two hours, that means how many only two hours I get to, to record this song. That mindset will not be you not be creative, but if you know that. I just want vibe, no, let, let the uh, magic flow. I get it, let's, let's take it back to shoes. Let's take it back to sneakers. So when did your love for shoes start? You said you started music four, four years, years ago. Now. So when did you be like, ah, this is for someone, I must get it. I'm when, 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 when did it start? I've been getting it for someone since day one. Since day since one. Four, me, it's five years ago. Five years ago. Ever so long, is my phone. We got one right here. We got one right here. So, like, if let's say, as any brand, like, as any record label, because me, I don't know about any record label that's actually signing Afrobeat artists in America. Because being an Afrobeat artist in Nigeria is different from being an Afrobeat. Oh, artist in America. I, I what you're so say. and I can't because there's a lot of label back in Nigeria, mm -hmm. back home. Yeah. There's YBNL, there's Mavens, there's a lot of record label that look out for artists. But how oh, yeah. I don't think we have one. We don't? I don't okay. think so. That's what I wanna ask you. Like, is there any record label that have reached out to you like, oh we see what you're doing, no pain, what's up? A contract. No one but one reach out to me, but it's not from it's not it's not Afro beat. That's why I didn't go. Okay, so you just you know you know it's just, you know, you know, you know, not it's not your vibe. Nah, this is just kind of nigga. I'm not doing. That. Okay, <laughs> we have a bigger plan. If a deal come at your door now, let's say Adidas, I know you you know what to say already, but let's just let let's just benefit of doubt. Make I let you know. Say okay, Adidas just come your door now. Now they no co 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 no pay no. Yeah. Or Nike or Reebok, any of those brands, or even Crocs, you know. Mm -hmm. Or I know if you say Balenciaga, because all those ones, nah, L let's talk about real brand, yeah. <laughs> or, um, <laughs> what do you mean talk about Balenciaga? <laughs> Balenciaga do some worship, bro. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, out of those brands, which one will you go for, bro? Which one I get right now? <laughs> hmm? I'm taking anything. <laughs> You taking anything, so you're not discriminating. <laughs> yeah, I get what I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that way. I like I like that mindset. So anyone that knock your door <laughs> is a go. If if Walmart knock my door, even McDonald's, we say that. What the law? What the law? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So now let's go to the Q and A. Like this question I'm about to ask you. Is it that you pick one? Toba, if you know if you pick one, you go drink. There's a drink here. You go drink. What so, is that? Which kind? Which kind of really good actually? It's just normal question. You have to pick. If you can't pick, then you drink. <laughs> Are you ready? No, I that. It's about music. It's about music and uh, sneakers. No, like, okay, so okay. let's start. Nike or Adidas? Man, come on, man. Nike. Why am I even thinking? Nike. Nike. Air, <laughs> Air Jordan or Easy? Mm. That's a good one. <laughs> because now, let me I start mean, preparing the drink. <laughs> Air Jordan or Easy? <laughs> Bro. Air Jordan or Easy? I think. Hold on. I'm a yeah fan. But. Jordan, come on, man! I can't go with that. So you're going with Jordan? No, no, I'm not saying Jordan. Hey, I'm Jordan not saying or Easy? Bo, can I pick Bo? Hell no. I'm a drink man. I don't have anything for that one. Because I'm a f no, bro. That's too much, bro. Yeah, drink it, drink it, drink it up. Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> drink, drink everything, bro. Yep, that was what you get if you can't pick one. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Ah. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna continue. 
slide. <coughs> okay. Slide, like normal slide or clog, like crocs. Crush, man. Come on. Croc. Okay. Um. Now let's go to the music part. This one. Wow. Let's go. She vibes. Or Bella Schmoda. Bro. <laughs> Let me prepare this. Hold on, hold on. She vibes. Or Bella Schmoda. She like. If I want to do music with them. If you want pick, say that they say this she vibe. This Bella Schmoda. Who is your favorite? What do you mean my favorite? Like. Yes. Both of them are my favorite. Yeah, now that's why you will drink now. Ah. <laughs> you can't have both of them as your favorite, bro. You have to drink. Why wow. you have both of them as your favorite? <laughs> drink, drink. Right. You know if you pick, drink, drink, my bro. Bro, okay. Drink, drink, drink. Yep. David Do. Come on, don't even go there, bro. David Do or Kiss Daniel. <laughs> Come on. Kiss. The video, bro. Okay. The video, okay. Come on, man. Whiskey or Bonner Boy? Come on, bro. Whiskey or Bonner Boy, bro. You yeah. have to pick one. <laughs> bro, why you why not say Whiskey or the video? Whiskey or Bonner Boy? Why you why think that like that? Now, now my question. Whiskey yeah. or Bonner Boy? Just pick one, bro. Whiskey or Bonner Boy? Why are you going on? Bro, come on. I didn't pick, bro. Mm. You know oh, why did you run me? I'll give you small. Bro, that is like drink tricky out. because. Drink you said whiskey or The last one, bro. You're almost there. This is the last question. You ready? Oh. You ready for the last one? No. Let me just ask. Portable or small doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Zazu, go try. Give me a hose. What the hell? What is my? Okay. But I'm big for the bro. I don't want to do it. But smart doctor, bro. That's my guy. Penalty, nigga. Come on. All right. So we've done with that. We've done with that one. What What should people look out for you right now? Like, what project do you have next? Bro. Do you have any upcoming project right now? Like, what's the plan? And people don't know you. So, people don't know how old you are. People don't know anything about that. Yeah. So, let people know how old you are and let them know, like, what's your next project. Because you said you started four years ago. And they don't know, maybe you are 30 years old now. <laughs> or you are 40 or you're 45. Because four years ago is like a long time to me. So, how old do you think I am? Me? Mm -hmm. I, I yes. don't know. No, no, no. You see, if they do me like that, if they do me everywhere. It's my friend, bro. Oh, my. You don't get that. No, you don't know. That means you go drink. Uh, ah, okay. No, no I, guess first. No, guess, guess. I want to guess to be wrong. 21. How much, bro? Right? Ah. Yeah. If you know if you're 21, police go call me Kyle because if they drink, you guys be 21 before you they drink. Ah, I'm 25. I <laughs> So how would you tell them how old you are, bro? I'm 20. 20? 20, bro. I'm okay. going to be... You're going to be 21 next year. Yeah, yeah I think we, we kind of safe. We kind of safe. Yeah, man. Yeah. Before they see the video, before they finish the before, investigation. Yeah, yeah, before they finish the investigation, we don't 21. turn 21. Yeah. I don't go you follow you talk shit. And where's the next question? The, any project you have on? I don't. I actually don't want to talk about this project. Okay. But well, you my guy, man, so you have to do that one. Okay, let the Russo family know, like, yeah, let people know, like, this project is called If I Try, I Can Fly. But this project is going to be a life changer mm. for everybody around me. Mm. So, because I'm not fighting for myself only no more. I'm fighting for everybody around me. That's, why, that's why you have the painkiller. Yeah, I'm the painkiller. Mm. I fuck with that, I fuck with that! <laughs> you see? I don't do it for myself alone no more. When I first started music, I'm actually doing it for, for the fame and all this stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. Now your perspective has changed. Yeah, like, yeah, like, when I see everything, music is a life to me, like, it opened my eyes to see a lot of stuff. So, mm -hmm. this project meant a lot to me, and I put a lot of work in that project. Into it. And I can't wait for you guys to actually listen to it. Like you're gonna so, know. So my own question now, I know say this like 
you know, this is like a secret to you, but do you have any artist out here in America or in Nigeria that you featured on the project that people should watch out for? Like, do you have any artist? I don't need to know the name, but just let us know. Do you have any Nigerian artist or any American artist on the project? I have both, though. I have Sheesh. both. I have okay. Both. Okay. I have a uh, young cash on okay. the project, and I have she vibe. Mm. Ah, for that you need to watch out for him. Chance. He come in big. Make them, make them, make them give you chance. chance. Cause if not just, yeah, you go cast. All right, no wala. Me that no go copyright yeah, also. Yeah, it's yeah, not deal. Yeah. So she vibes on your project. That's yeah, a big one. Vibe, yeah. That's a big one. So when are you releasing the project? Hold on, hold on. I have this girl on this project. The girl was this her first song. I'm the one that like, hey, bro, you're not just saying you have to be on this project. Mm -hmm. Bro, you need to watch out for that song. Wow. Bro, I'm not even gonna say too much. Nah, I can't, that I song, can't, I can't listen, even wait for the project. That bro. song is gonna take over more than you guys think, bro. That song is gonna we're gonna be international with that stuff, bro. No Correct. doubt, bro. No I swear to God. See, no doubt, bro. But uh, wrong, the project bro. is dropping next year, though. Okay. I'm not gonna give you the dates, though. Okay. Yeah, if I give you the dates. All right. No problem. Sure. So watch out for No Pain on his um incoming project. Did you say the name of the project or you did? Yeah, I did. If I try, if I try, I can fly. Okay. If I try, I can fly. So after all these questions, I've asked you like you said you've been doing music for like four years, like. Let's rewind back to that four years ago. Okay. Huh. A lot. What can you do different? Like, okay, that four years, that things that you know now, like, assume, like, let's say, Otimomo, say you don't know what you know now, you don't know that four years ago. What thing if you try? What thing you go tell that, what thing you go tell that young person four years ago? You now, you go back to four years ago, you go meet another you. What thing you go tell them, say, bro, now this is this so, uh, yeah, yeah. So what do you tell that young don't young of like, you four years ago? Thank you for that question because which I would tell that guy to say, don't believe in people and don't rely on people too much. That is the hmm. reason why I put this project up. That's what, because this project where I won't put that right. Mm -hmm. I have I have another name for the project. Hmm. But because of which my eyes see this year. Hmm. That's why I changed the name of the project. And I have what to take, you have been through. Yeah, and I take a step back, bro. Relax and watch. You mm -hmm. get me? So which I would tell that young man, don't don't believe in people, and don't rely on people because people too have their own life to live. To live, yeah. So and you have your own life to live too. So don't don't just rely on people, bro. They got their life to live too. Because yeah. I rely on people, and that that fucked me up. Fuck you up, bro. But I'm glad I can recover back. Man, my now you are yourself. You're doing your yeah, shit. Yeah, bro. If people if people say no, bro, I'm moving on. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, bro. Now I have fucking like ten options. You want to say no? I'm going to the next, next one. one. I'm that going to the next one. Next one. Next and, one. And and so, and I admire something about you. Like like I swear, your work ethics and the the willingness for you to work with anybody is something that you know I admire a lot. And I just see that with that, he's going to take you far. He's not even just going to make you fly, bro. He's going to make you teleport. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you for doing this for me. And with everything, now snow is coming. And I don't know where you'll be ne where will you where, where you going to be next year. You'll be doing the release of your music or any part of the state you'll be. But I don't care. I don't know if you're going to be in California. I don't know if you're gonna be in Florida. I don't know if you're gonna no. be in Alaska. So with I'm that, in, listen, I'm gonna be in my city, Nigeria. Shit, you releasing <laughs> the project in Nigeria? That was what's up. That was what's up. We go back home. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. You all should watch out for a no pain I should invite video there. So <laughs> gonna be in Nigeria. I know, say you don't have a plan now. <laughs> Nigeria. Nah, that was a, that. Was, but why do you wanna release in Nigeria, though? Bro. Why not here? <laughs> There's no magazine, but I got to go back now. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. That's where you can meet your... That's yeah, where yeah, your... That's where the energy, bro, yeah. So, okay, bro. Well, if you're going to Nigeria, all those titi, all those potopoto, all those shit. 
I'm giving you this shoe, bro. So oh, enjoy no. it when you are in Nigeria for coming onto my show. You know, real so metaphorically. Thank you. Got you got it, bro. Thank you. <laughs> you got it, Timberline, nigga. Bro, if yeah. you talk too much, I'm gonna kick your ass, nigga. Bro, I appreciate, I appreciate. I appreciate you more. Thank bro. you so Thanks much. Thanks for coming to the show. You know, and we're gonna do part two. Proud me in Nigeria. We're yeah. gonna do part two. So, next safe one, trip. Next one. I don't know. Next one. You're gonna see me with the blank blank on my neck. <laughs> all the <laughs> eyes, all the stuff. Yep. I believe you, bro. Hi, I believe you. Thank you so much, man. No, appreciate it. No problem, my bro. No man, problem. No. Thanks for kicking in with me. You know, and I can't wait for the project. By next year, I'm mm-hmm. gonna listen to the project all through. So, as you guys know, this is real soul. It's deeper than just soul. As you can see, with the host that I have right here, he's an Afrobeat artist in Nigeria, in America, and he's way deeper than just soul. So, with that being said, check out for his music on YouTube. Where, where can people find you? No pain or platform. No pain or platform. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, no Twitter. No pain. I'm no pain. Not. Or, pa- or platform and you know next year is giving us the painkiller with his project so yeah. watch out for that and Big if you like this video like subscribe you know all the good stuff it helps the it helps the channel and i'm your one and lowly solely music and catch you on the next video <laughs> Fait pas qu'à la rada, on t'a loué à Bawi, collègue.